Yes, everybody, welcome back. You know what it is, Leo Potzel. That's the channel. Thanks for tuning in, guys. Today's gonna be a little bit long video, but please bear with me. And uh, today's gonna be a full uh, product review of this new line of skimmers that I just came out, guys. If you want to order yours, order yours at uh, www.fishstreet.com. Again, that's www fishstreet.com uh, take a look there at the website you'll see the video there as well and um, you can order your skimmers there and other products as well so we got a coral box protein skimmer 500 DC 500 we got a coral box protein skimmer D 300 and as well we have a coral box protein skimmer D 700 so guys, uh, here's the uh, box ship. They were all came together in one shipment. I made an order, and today's going to be a product review on the Protein Skimmer Coral Box D300. So I'll be opening up the skimmer, setting up the skimmer, complete setup, uh, nice thorough setup so you can see from start to finish on how you set up the skimmer. And I'm actually in the end of the video going to be setting it up on my 125 gallon uh, coral reef uh, fish tank. And as well I'm going to be setting it up on my 35 gallon frag tank on two different sumps. Uh, and you guys can see how the, t uh, the skimmer is going to work on uh, both tanks there so stay tuned guys uh, step by step I'm going to show you how to set this bad boy up and uh, let me know what you guys think comment questions concerns and uh, stay tuned I tried to make the video as uh, self-explanatory as possible so there's not really much uh, for me to explain but I'll uh, come in here and there and I'll sh tell you a few things about uh, the skimmer all right thanks for watching Leo Pot so you know what it is hope you enjoy Well guys, you can see that the skimmer's out of the box. It looks like uh, it came nice and well shipped, nice and packed. Uh, the packaging and the protection in the packaging looks uh, quite nice. It looks like they took the time and care to uh, make sure this arrived uh, without no damage at all. You can see here that the uh, air bubble wrap is uh, wrapped around the skimmer as well as some foam and plastic around everything. So uh, let's expose this and uh, let's get the skimmer going. Okay, what we have here is a Jebo DC 1200 return pump. This uh, return pump is going to be used on our skimmer. Uh, this is the pump that comes with the skimmer. And it's basically uh, rated for approximately 40 gallons to 90 gallons. So if your reef system saltwater tank is approximately 40 to 90 gallons, this skimmer will be great for you. Um, as, well, as well as the skimmer comes with uh, the pump here that has an impeller. Uh, it's a pinwheel impeller, which is a nice feature to have here on the uh, pump. You can see that right there. And uh, what else? It has the controller that's uh, adjustable flow rate, which is like the wave makers that they have. And we got the power outlet just to plug into the wall. So that three piece item right there comes inside the pump of the DC uh, 300 protein skimmer. Okay, now that we got the skimmer all out of the packaging, we can take a quick look at the skimmer and overall look. Uh, from my opinion, the skimmer looks great, nice, uh, well constructed uh, acrylic. Uh, we can see the red uh, O-ring there gasket for when you put the top uh, the top collection cap on. Here's the lid of the uh, collection cap. Really nice design, looks pretty strong and sturdy. So. Uh, Next thing that we're going to do guys to get started to installing this, we're going to basically take off these five plastic screws here at the bottom of the skimmer. Uh, what this is going to do is take off the base of the skimmer and we're going to be able to open it up from the base to the, uh, the wine bottle neck of the skimmer and uh, we're going to be able to take out all the other parts that come along with the skimmer. So uh, here you can see I'm just taking off the bottom base of the skimmer and I'm going to be pulling out all the other parts that come along with the skimmer so we can get started on installing.
Okay, this next part that I'm going to install here is basically the outflow, the outtake of the skimmer. Uh, this is the own, their own uh, patent design that they came up with. Um, it's a basically a threaded piece of acrylic uh, which has a handle at the top and you're going to basically screw it uh, counterclockwise or clockwise and it's going to open and close the uh, valve at the bottom and you're going to have adjustable flow from uh, zero to uh, 100%. So the next part I'm going to install is going to be the airline tubing that's going to connect from the pump venturi to the air inlet that's going to be resting at the top of the skimmer via this bracket. I'm installing it right now as you can see I'm just unscrewing this screw here and I'm just going to be putting the airline venturi sliding it in and tightening up that plastic screw and then from there we connect the airline tubing to the pump venturi. This is the tubing in which the skimmer pump draws in air into the skimmer chamber in which the air gets mixed with the water and creates the bubbles inside the skimmer. Next we're going to be installing this uh, tubing that connects to the skimmer collection cap. Uh, basically what this tubing is, um, is a drain for the collection cap if the uh, skimmer collection cap gets too full it can drain via this tubing and the end of this tubing has a blue uh, ball valve uh, that we can close or open if we need uh, if we want it to drain via this uh, route or not. Well guys it looks like the skimmer is complete it's all assembled uh, we installed all the parts and pieces that we needed to install Overall, it looks like a great skimmer. I'm very impressed. I'm ready to get this guy installed on my sump. Uh, so you know what? Uh, let's finally finish up what we need to do installing this pump, and let's get it installed on the sump, and uh, let's have a look and see how it works. All right, well here we are back at my tank, the 125 gallon coral reef tank. Uh, let's get started in installing this skimmer on my uh, sump filtration system. All right guys, you can see here that the skimmer has been running in my 75 gallon sump for approximately 24 hours. I'm really impressed on what it's been pulling out already. The skimmer hasn't even been broken in yet and uh, it's already pulling out great skim mate. So let's have a look here on what it's pulled out within 48 hours. So here you are, 48 hours, this is what the skimmer's been pulling out, a fantastic job guys. It's been sitting here in my 75 gallon sump for 48 hours in about 7 inches of water depth and the pump is on full power right now and it looks like it's working fantastic. So let's get this switched over and uh, let's see how it looks in my frag tank and see how it works in my frag tank in a different setup. Here's the skimmer set up 24 hours later in my 35 gallon frag tank and my 20 gallon sump. So here we have approximately 40 gallons of uh, whole system uh, water volume. Um, here's after 24 hours of what the skimmer's pulled out. It's uh, sitting in this sump in approximately 6 inches of water. Uh, the pump again is on full blast to full power. So uh, I just dialed it down to where I need it. Uh, this is within 20 or 24 hours guys of what it's pulled out. Uh, fantastic job. So I'm just going to keep an eye on it and see how it works for me. Uh, so far it's working great. It's a great build. Um, it's very silent. I don't hear this. Uh, I don't hear the pump at all. Zero vibration. Uh, guys it looks like it's a fantastic skimmer. If you guys are interested in ordering check it out www.fiststreet.com uh, Guys I appreciate you watching. This is the full product review of the D Coral Box 300 Protein Skimmer. Here we have is the Jebel DC pump controller. It's a controller that will uh, allow you to adjust the uh, water flow. 
uh, through the skimmer via this controller right here just with the plus and minus sign and a nice feature here is to feed uh, is the feed mode which will turn it off for approximately 10 minutes. Okay guys, two things I wanted to make sure that I was going to point out to you here. Um, you see that I'm adjusting the skimmer here, I'm only doing this just to show you how to adjust it. But once you guys find that sweet spot, just let the skimmer be, leave it alone and um, you know it will work properly as long as that it's in the same, uh, the skimmer chamber is in the same amount of uh, water level, it's submerged in the same amount of water level. So an auto top off is actually key into your sump filtration system which I recommend. Well guys, it looks like it brought us to the end of the video. Thank you very much for watching. It was a long one, I'd appreciate it. Uh, thanks guys for all the new subscribers. Uh, please let me know what you guys think of this skimmer so far. Let me know what you guys think of this video. Uh, any questions, comments, guys, feel free to ask. I always get back at uh, people who ask questions and comment and whatnot. So guys, Leo Pazzo, you know what it is. Thanks for watching. If you want to order your skimmer, check it out, fishtree.com. Uh, you know what? Leo Pazzo, guys, this is 2014. Just stay focused. 2015 is around the corner. Uh, we got uh, new products, new reviews, new tank builds, new do-it-yourselves. There's lots of stuff coming out, guys. If you guys haven't subscribed, I'm telling you, subscribe. Till next time.